If you try to remember your password off the top of your head or basically write it down in a piece of paper, uh, you're in a very bad spot because you are uh, putting your passwords in a vulnerable state. You know, if you just write them down, hey, I'm, I'm guilty of that. I write down my passwords and I put them in my desk drawer. But there's a better way to do it, you know, better, uh, safer, more secure way to do it, and that's by using Password Depot. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this program where you can actually store your passwords and have a password to get to your passwords. That way nobody can actually get to them. Uh, this is a website for Password Depot. I will post a link on the descri description of the video below so you can download it. And uh, basically you can try it for free. So once you go to the URL that I'm going to post on the description of the video, uh, click right here where it says try for free, install the program, and this is what it looks like here. All right, really easy to use program, really user friendly. Well, at first I had to, took me a while to figure it out at first, but that's what this tutorial is for, to help you out. But basically when you first start off, um, you're, done, you're, only gonna, you're not gonna see much here. What you have to do is go to file, click on file manager, click on new file, give it a name. All right, I, I named mine test give it a master password make sure your master password is very uh, hard to guess make sure it's a very secure password and it'll tell you here, here the quality of your password if it's a it's a very good password strong password or not now what's cool about this program is it has uh, security features against brute force attacks what brute force attacks are is uh, somebody goes in, in here and tries to use what's called a dictionary attack. We'll use every word in the dictionary, every number, and it will mix and match them until they try to get it right. And this type of attack goes through like a couple hundred passwords or thousands of passwords a second. But what this program does is you can only put a password every three seconds on here. So you actually gotta wait three seconds before putting a new password on there if you got the last one wrong. So that will protect you against brute force all right, so once you set your master password, uh, put a description on here, everything, and then click OK. All right, and then your uh, test file will be done. If you go to the Home tab here, you can go ahead and click on the Add key here to add a password. Let's go ahead and add, um, let's go ahead and put Bank Test. Let's say this is a bank account password. All right, username, test123 just for testing purposes. Password, let's go ahead and put test123. Confirmation, test123. Importance, very high. Category, home banking. I'm just gonna put checking account for comments. You can also put an expiration date if you change your uh, passwords very often. And uh, go ahead and click here for saying that the password is secure. All right, click OK. Now you're gonna get a warning if you use a very easy password. All right, it's telling you that test123 could be used in a dictionary attack like the one I was talking about a while ago. All right, do you wanna to return to the edit window? Yes, let's go ahead and change it better. Let's make the password capital T, E-S-T. Actually the E, let's make it as a three. So capital T, three, S, T, one, two, and then the three we're gonna make a number sign. All right, let's take and remember that. Capital T, three, S, T, one, two, number sign. Bam. Well, the first part of it, S, T, one, that can be used in a dictionary attack, but it's okay. Uh, the rest of it is hard to guess anyway. All right, here we are. We just added a password. What you can also do here is uh, Let's say you have your password window. Or somebody else is going to use a computer. The, under the Home tab, you can click on the Lock button. It'll lock the Password Manager, Password Depot. And the only way to get back to it is if you go to the, if you go down here to the uh, bottom right-hand corner and try to get to it there. You notice the Master Password comes up. Let's go ahead and put the Master Password in there. All right. And that's how easy it is to use it. All right, so now we got a password in here. You can right click here and click on add to add more passwords. Let's go ahead and put a Facebook password. Username, we're just gonna put test123. 
password will put test123 just to make this simple and medium category private and social media for the comments I'm gonna put social media Facebook okay it's okay and there we are we got a Facebook password your bank password you can put as many passwords here as you want and uh, you can just exit out of this program whenever you need to bring up your passwords you can just go ahead and open up password depot it's opening up right now it's gonna ask for the master password and bam there we are now there is so many features on this program also you can under options you can go ahead and change many options on here you can go ahead and put it to the top under view under the view tab you can actually put it on the top bar Let's go ahead and show you that. You go to view. You can actually sort by description, by password. This reminds me a lot of Outlook or, or Word. It looks a lot like Office, you know, the, the whole, uh, uh, the way it's set up. You can sort by whatever you want. The direction, ascending or descending. You can change the grouping, the view, and the areas. You can click on toolbar. You can actually have a toolbar up here to view view it that way under tools you can go ahead and synchronize files if you're using a server so on this program you can also use a server all right if you want to access your passwords from a remote location but for that you have to download if you go to under download on the main website you can go ahead and download the server edition from here Google Drive, Microsoft SkyDrive, Dropbox, you have it all here. You can also save all your passwords on there. All right. You can encrypt files. If you click on the encrypt button up here, you can select the file that you want to encrypt. You can decrypt any files that you want. Of course, it probably uses its own algorithm. You can erase files. You can analyze files to see you know, their quality, the strength, uh, crack time how long it would take to crack something. My passwords, I made them really, really easy. My Facebook password will take one second for a hacker to crack. My test password will take three hours for someone to crack. So you need to make your passwords as, uh, as strong as possible, right? And that's really cool about this program is you can test your passwords to see if they're, how they're crackable. And you can also use USB, a USB drive to um, to bring in passwords or to export them and you can also clean up you know old passwords you don't use anymore you know records stuff like that that's pretty much in a nutshell uh, password depot very good program I give it a really good review because uh, it's easy to use and it has so many features and I, the feature I love the most is that uh, crack password the tools is the uh, analyze thing how you can analyze and see how long it'll take to crack a password I love that about this program that's awesome let's go ahead and see how much this program costs let's go ahead and right now we're using the 30-day uh, free trial I'm gonna click here to buy full version just pretend we're buying it to see how much it costs 29 euros that's almost I would say about twenty seven dollars maybe twenty five dollars because the US dollar is a little bit lower than the euro and uh, to upgrade it costs 9.95, and for the server edition, of course, um, you can only buy uh, six users and above. For six users, it costs 139 euros. 12 users, 264, so on and so forth. Let's uh, let's see how much 100 users would cost. A thousand bucks. All right, so the minimum six users is 139. If you want to buy the server edition, the normal edition is 29 euros. All right, that's it right there. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. And for the download link, go ahead and go to the description of the video. You can download Password Depot from there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I always have new videos coming out. Again, thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.